What's up you guys, you guys Nona Cole and I'm back with another video and before I get started, I do want to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my returning subscribers. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that way you know every time that I upload. So, <sighs> funny story, not funny, but funny. So I tried recording this video, I actually recorded it twice, then... My storage was full. I went and I deleted a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to try this again. So it's been a while since I made a video. But as promised, I am showing you guys my haul. Um, it's a lot of stuff. It's actually grown since the last time that I said that I was going to show you guys a haul video. And I've just been doing a lot. I've been unpacking. I've been just putting stuff where they belong. I've been noticing I have way too much stuff. Also, every time I say I'm going to do a no buy, I never really do it. But this time I'm I'm kind of serious um, as far as like not buying any more stuff. Um, after looking and, uh, and opening all my boxes, like I put all my candles in their storage space downstairs and I found more candles, for example. So I'm going to try. I'm not going to keep saying it. I'm just going to put it in my head that... Chanel you don't need anymore I've been doing really good like when I go to Aldi I did not pick up any candles um I did pick up some things but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the haul so it's from a few different places so I'm just gonna randomly pick and the first one is Bath and Body Works so here is my bag I did have two rewards I need to redeem before they expired and you know, rewards are, no, they don't go bad over here. So the first thing is this lavender and vanilla body wash. So I had to get that. And then this one is just a wallflower. I've been actually redeeming wallflower plugins with them because I feel like, why not? I've been doing a lot of body care. I have way too much body care. I am going to try and pick up like one or two of the new scents. I'm going to try and pick those up. But otherwise... Um, I'm mostly sticking to wallflower plugins. This is super, super cute. I'm going to put it in my room. It was $14.50 and it is a little nightlight. So with my pickup order, I did pick this up. It was the Sweet Mint and Rain. So the next thing from Bath & Body Works I'm going to show you guys is this wallflower plugin. This is so cute. It goes with my kitchen decor. It just says flower shop on it. I absolutely love it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. I went into the store and I saw this and they had like six left. I had to pick one up. I actually picked up another one during that 40% off sale. And it's just a backup because I love this. I love the color. I love that blue on there. And I love the sunflowers and the daisies on the back. Like it's so cute. So there's that. All right, so as everything for Bath & Body Works, next thing I'm gonna show you guys is sephora i wanted to say ultra i don't know why but this is what i got i actually got this from the vib sale so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys these are empty boxes because honestly i had them here i didn't even wash my face so i put them in the bathroom and i'm like i'll just show the empty boxes so this is the mirad environmental shield vita c triple exfoliating facial i actually have that one right here you only do this one twice a week so here's this one. It's actually been helping me with my dark spots. I'm going to wait until like after a month and then see what it does. The other one is just the serum. And this is what the packaging looks like. These are like $60 a piece. Um, maybe $70 just about. I'm going to try and find something else. We know something else that helps with dark spots that is a lot cheaper. Comment down below and please let me know. Because this, I definitely invested in my skin for this because it came highly recommended. Now, along with this, I did get the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This is actually currently being used and I think it's in my car right now, but I definitely love how it looks. It comes out, it looks kind of like a Vaseline, but um, I hope it's doing justice for my skin. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm actually putting cocoa butter on my face, but every time that I put this on, it, everyone tells me I have like a little bit of a glow to me. So I definitely like what it does. It's kind of, I think it's a primer too. I believe it's a primer. I was told it was a primer. Haven't been putting makeup on my skin because I've been doing too much unpacking. But um, I want to try it as a primer. I don't know. I just, I just like what it's supposed to be doing for my skin. And this is SPF 40. Next thing I'm going to show you guys, I didn't get it for the VIB sale. But this came in the mail a long, long time ago. Never did 
a review or anything for it, but I did see it like when I was unpacking. So this is the Gucci Flora in Emerald Gardenia limited edition. I have I've had it for some while now. So ooh, let me take the top off. All right, so when you take it out, it looks like this. Really cute, very simple. Normally it does have that ribbon, but I lost it. So this is that. So the next thing that I'm gonna tell you guys about, I did get it, but I actually returned it. It was the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, and it was in the travel size. Now, I did not like it. It smelled more of like an aged vanilla on me. I thought maybe I could like put something else in it, make it smell a little bit better, but I'm like, I don't really wanna have to tweak this every time I wear it. So I did change it for the Chance Chanel, and I'm not really sure which one it is. It's the one that has the metal going around the bottle. I'll go ahead and insert a picture. I don't have it right now because I don't know where I put it, but this is my signature fragrance. I'm, I actually have the EDP. I purchased the EDT and I only had to pay $7 going towards it because the Tom Ford cost that much. And so basically for the difference, it would have been $17. I need $10 in my points and then i only have to pay seven dollars out of pocket to get this next things i'm gonna show you guys is from walmart this is the baby foot moisturizing foot mask it was 10.50 funny i mentioned this in my empties video and i did not expect to see this at walmart this is normally 25 dollars they have the original price on here as 15 dollars and they brought it down to 10.50 now i know that is over half of what it originally is so I just went and picked one up. I'm definitely going to go ahead and use the other feet mask that I have. I'm going to save this one for last. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is the Profusion. And this is in the Soft Matte Liquid Blush in Bellini. This is what the packaging looks like. It was $4.95. I did see an influencer try it. And I was like, let me try it. Not really much of a blush person, but I always say I'm trying to do my makeup. Definitely am going to go ahead and try to do my makeup now in this house. And so I'm just going to put it on my skin. This is what the applicator looks like. I put a little bit on my skin. I'm just going to dab it in there so that way I can see what it looks like on my skin. I already know what it looks like, but you guys don't know what it looks like because my footage wanted to act up. So that is what it looks like. I feel like it'll look really nice for like a highlighter. So I'm definitely excited to try this. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is from Taraji P. Henson's line and... I was actually pretty excited to see this because she had her hair care products now with me. I usually like things that I'm used to instead of trying new products. So I shied away from that. But body care, I feel like you can't really go wrong with body care. I have enough body to use um, as much body care that comes out. So this is the Lux but lightweight body oil. It is kind of filled up to the top up until like where it curves. That's where it stops. So I love the packaging. I feel like it's really sleek, simple. You can put this on your counter um, and then, you know, just have it look just kind of cute, maybe like for aesthetic. Um, yeah, this is in vanilla and tuberose. So I'm gonna put a little bit on, put a little bit. This is very oily, kind of like baby oil consistency. Nothing different, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, so. I'm just gonna rub that in there. Like All right, that. guys, so sorry about that. My camera literally cut out as I was recording. So this is what it looks like on my skin. Nothing really, you know, just give a little glow. It does do what it's supposed to do. Smells, smells good, it's super light. Nothing like really, <laughs> just dropped it. Nothing like really fragrant, but this is what it looks like. So if you see this in Walmart, definitely go ahead and try it. I think this was like $11.97. So it's pretty steep in price, but I'll try it at least once. So there's this one. The next thing that I did get was the Any Place, Anytime, and All the Time Comforting Candle in Vanilla and Tuberose. And this is from her line as well. So it's Body by TPH. This is what it looks like. So go ahead and open the box. And then the packaging is really sleek. I feel like it's really, I think it's trying to give like luxury vibes. Really simple. Only thing is it doesn't have a lid. I love candles that have lids because I feel like it preserves the scent. So I don't know when I'm gonna burn this, but let me try and... Mm. It's really light. Hopefully it has a good throw to it. I'm probably gonna burn it in my room, see what it does in there. But there is the packaging. 
this was $11.97 and I was like, you know what? I buy Bath and Body Works candles all the time. So let me go ahead and support her. And you know, I've always liked Taraji. So here is that. All right, so that's it from Walmart. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys, I actually got from Burlington. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. Moisture Booth Pro Length Treatment. So there's that. This was $3.99. My hair literally drinks everything that I put in it. So I'm trying to moisturize my hair more often. And yeah, so hopefully this does the trick. Next thing that I did get was the Palmer's Oil, Palmer's Olive Oil Formula. And this is replenishing conditioner for frizz prone hair. So this is what it looks like. And this was $3.99 as well. So I did smell it because I know sometimes the shelf life varies when you get stuff in store or at least in like Burlington, TJ Maxx, stuff like that. And it does smell good. So um, I'm going to definitely use this and see what happens to my hair. I just love things with olive oil. I usually like when I deep condition my hair, I use the mayonnaise with the olive oil in it. So there's that. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is from Aldi. Now, you guys know that Aldi had their sale. Actually, it's not even a sale. They just put out their new stuff for their finds. And they have pajamas. So you know I had to get some. This is the pajama that I got. The other one is in the wash right now. And it's just a long sleeve shirt with these cute shorts. And this is just the loungewear. Um, I, got, I did get it in the extra large. The material is really nice. The shorts, super pretty. And then on the top, it does have like this light blue. So I definitely like this. This was $9.99. The next thing that I did get was the lady slippers. And they go with the pajamas. Like they go with my other pajamas too. But this one... I was like, yeah, it was the last one in my size. So I was like, yeah, you got to come with me. Like, it's a must. They are, I'm going to definitely wear these in the house. Not really sure if I'm wearing them outside, but they do look cute with the little outfit. So I can't wait to put that on. So I saved the best for last. The next and final things that I did get were from Ulta. And I'm going to go ahead and show you those things. And then I'm, I'm super excited. I'm going to get to go ahead and put all this stuff away. <sighs> Like, putting away all my hygiene stuff has been so draining, and I'm just ready to be done with it. Like, I'm super ready to just put it all away. But anyway, so, first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Tree Hut Green Tea Shea Sugar Scrub. I already had this in one of my empties. I absolutely love it. I think I have a backup, and I just love the smell of it, and the color is super pretty, too. So, I got another one of those. Next one is the Pineapple. Um, this one is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. Um, helps tone and hydrate skin. So, mm, it definitely looks amazing. I absolutely love how it looks. It just looks so juicy. It's just something about it. So, they get that one. I believe I got these when the items were 25% off because Tree Hut did have their sale. So, the next one that I got is strawberry. And this definitely, oh, nope, it's sitting right where it's supposed to be. This definitely smells really good. I definitely love my Tree Hut scrubs, my sugar scrubs. I feel like I wouldn't stray away from Tree Hut. I don't know. Because I have so much to use right now. So I shouldn't have bought these. I actually bought two of the pineapples, one of these, and then the other one in the green tea. So, um, yeah. So there's this. <sighs> Basically, I'm going to see myself using Tree Hut no matter what. So, anyways, moving on. Next thing is the Valentina Donna Born in Roma in Coral Fantasy. This I had to get, you know, when Jasmine Bullet raves about something, she, she usually on to something and she hits it right on the nose. So I had to go ahead and try it. Um, I actually have the, I think it's the first one. I'm not sure. The one that has vanilla in it. The one that, that's like Jasmine Bullet's favorite. I have that one. Don't know where it is right now, but I do have it. So this is what it looks like. It has the top on it now. And I absolutely love, 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 love this. So I'll try and include the notes of the perfumes on the bottom of the screen because I do not know them off the top of my head. So um, I am excited to use this. Next one that I got, my friend absolutely loves this and she was raving about it. She bought it and I was like, let me buy it in the smaller size. This is Daisy Love in Oh So Sweet. Definitely love the packaging. I feel like it's perfect for spring. If you like Boardwalk Taffy, if you like um, those sweet sugary scent this is definitely good for you this i love the packaging i feel like it's so cute and i love how it's see-through and then it has like that frosted like glass 
And this is in the 30, no, one fluid ounce. So this is cute. Super cute. I absolutely love it. I have sprayed it. So I don't know. I'm just I'm just excited to finally put this stuff away, honestly. And I'm kind of overwhelmed by all the stuff that I have. So if I don't look excited, just know deep, deep down inside, in my soul, in my heart of hearts, I'm excited, but I'm tired. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is from Juvia's Place. And this is a Lori 2 palette. Um, this is blue. I think it was only $15. I paid like $10 for it. I always love the packaging. I love how like secure your stuff comes. And let me go ahead and show you the color. This, mm, hypnotizing, hypnotizing, hypnotizing. I absolutely love how that blue looks. So I wanted to get it for Christmas, but they, I think they were either sold out or I only wanted this and it wasn't worth paying shipping. So I was like, forget it. And so now I have it. So literally when it's meant for you to have it, you will have it. So there's that. The other thing that I did get was a Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris. Sorry, I don't speak French. I probably butchered that and I probably sound crazy, but I got me some Coco Chanel. This was 146. I did use some points to redeem this. So I ended up paying like 80 or 90 dollars. So this is definitely this is what it looks like. It is so cute. I feel like this is my homeowner scent. This is like grown, sexy. As soon as I start dressing more up, like I'm literally like a sweatpants chick. But if you see the town that I live in, you will understand why. I'm so laid back when I go out. So this, and like, I know you don't dress for people, you dress for yourself, but I like to be comfortable. So that's dressing for me. But the perfume, my fragrance, my lotion, like the way I take care of my skin, definitely says it all. But anyways, so this is what it looks like. Um, I haven't used it like to go out. Mm. This is definitely like grown and sexy. I love the citrusy smell to it. Like, ooh, Chanel, Chanel, like smells amazing. Smells amazing. So I absolutely love this. I might just keep it in a box and put it in my closet. But yeah, this is my homeowner scent. Next thing that I got, and the last thing that I got, because this box is empty, other than the package, because, and the wrapping, because this is like my fifth time recording this video, but this is Juvia's Place Glass Gloss, and it's electric, so this has one in it, and this is the one that I started to use for the video. This is amazing. I love how glossy it makes your lips look. This is my second one that I bought, so second and third one. I wasn't going to get it because I'm like, I have literally so much of the gloss, so much chapstick. But this, I feel like when you're thinking about something, like for a really long time, you just need to go ahead and do it. And that's what I did with this one. So this definitely looks good. I have like chapstick on my lips, but I will show you guys what it looks like. And it's definitely like electric. There's definitely something in this like, mm. This is amazing. It has like a really like soft scent. It doesn't smell like a chemical, nothing like that. But um, yeah, so here is these, here are these two. These are my favorite. Love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. If you're thinking about getting it, definitely get it. They have them in three shades. I'm only familiar with the one, but definitely worth having. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for your patience. As I put out this content, as I adjust to my home, Thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to finally get fully unpacked and like start buying furniture. It's just so much. Like it's just so much. But thank you guys so much. Um, I do appreciate you guys. I miss you all. I'm so glad and grateful whenever a video goes good and I'm able to sit down and make a video for you guys. It just makes me so happy. It just lights up my soul. Like you guys have no idea. So Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you purchased any of these products. Let me know if you've tried Taraji's new um, body care line or the candle. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So until next time, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.